Welcome to The Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you about when to fertilize your tomato seedlings. And what you want to look for is a plant that's about this size. These are the first leaves that break out right here. You want to wait till a tomato at least has its true leaves up and it's about this size to somewhere between the tomatoes back here that are a little bit bigger. So somewhere between that range. When you look at these, they're also very green. They do get fertilized today actually with a half strength fertilize, fertilizer. If your smaller plant is looking a little bit purple underneath the leaves or it looks a little bit yellow, that might mean it's time to fertilize them when it's about this size. If they grow pretty well to this size, they look good, no matter how they look, if they're all green like these, if they look really healthy, you still want to start about a half strength liquid fertilizer. So it's up to you, but just keep an eye on it. The other thing to keep in mind is these peat pellets do not have any fertilizer in them. Some starting mixes do. So if you plant a seed in a starting mix that has some fertilizer, you're going to, allow, you're going to be able to let these seedlings grow a little bit longer. But you want to keep an eye on them and somewhere between, again, this size and this size. Now there's different products to use. For your seedlings, definitely use a liquid fertilizer. I use it at half strength. You don't need full strength liquid fertilizer. If you choose organic or inorganic, you just don't need the full strength. A um, couple of things to, to think about is, here's kelp extract. This has 0 .13, 0 0.60. You want a liquid fertilizer that has numbers in each of these three spaces. You want nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in combination with your liquid fertilizer. So I wouldn't really use the pure kelp in this case. Now here's an organic product. This is made from uh, beet juice and you're not going to be able to see it, but this is a 600 or 900. I can't remember off the top of my head, but all this has is nitrogen. You don't just want nitrogen. You definitely want nitrogen and phosphorus because the phosphorus will help with the root growth. Now this is not organic. In the case of seedlings like this, I don't mind using inorganic fertilizer or stuff that's man-made. Your plants do not know the difference. Okay, so it's sort of a mental thing is if you only want organic, look for an organic product. Fish emulsion would work, but I'm not going to use it in my house because it smells badly. I'll definitely use that in my greenhouse or out in my garden. So indoors, this one has a nice um, mix of the main uh, fertilizers. Four for nitrogen and then it has 16 and 18 for potassium and for phosphorus. Again, this would be half strength. So this is going to be like a 284. And it's okay if the middle number for the root development for the phosphorus is a little bit higher than the nitrogen. But you want to cover the basis for all of it. And this is a really, really good uh, liquid fertilizer with the number 1468. You don't need to look for Peter's Professional or anything like that. But you're looking more for numbers that are, you know, 468, you know, 284, something along that line. Now I use Vi uh, Vigoro which is just like miracle Grow. It's a little bit, well, not a little bit, but it's way too high. You're not going to be able to see this, but it has a 24% uh, number for nitrogen, and that's too high. But again, I would use this at, at half strength, so it would be a 12, 4, 8 fertilizer. And again, those three numbers, I'm not going to tell you exactly what they have to be. I don't really know, to be honest with you. Everybody will have a different opinion, but you want all three numbers represented, and you want to use any product you choose at half strength. You can damage your plants if you're using too much fertilizer at this point. There's no rain coming in. There's little uh, areas for the uh, soil. So concentrations of fertilizer can harm your plants and they just don't need it. So anyway, these are some options for taking care of your seedlings. And again, just to recap quickly, somewhere between this size of a tomato and this size of your tomato seedling, that's when you want to fertilize. And I recommend highly that you use a half strength liquid fertilizer that represents nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in the numbers. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.